My name is Jimmy Tobin. I work for Alibaba.com um, in the uh, strate- help them with strategic partnerships and business development for the Americas region. Right now, Alibaba's uh, growing significantly in uh, the LAC region. We've got um, we've recently opened six, five or six new markets uh, for sellers. So we have now Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Chile, Mexico, and Peru. Alibaba has now uh, more than 40 million buyers worldwide and uh, we have buyers in every country of the world as you can imagine so each country is uh, it's a little bit different it usually reflects you know not, uh, sometimes uh, if there's a lack of products in the market you know you'll find people sourcing from uh, abroad especially China um, but it really depends on you know which market you're in one thing that is uh, is interesting is that in Brazil, you know, we just have had tremendous growth um, with a platform called AliExpress uh, over the past few years. It's like international trade, except we call it cross-border e-commerce. And so there's more and more of the situation where you have individual consumers buying from Amazon in the U.S. or from AliExpress in China or from you know one of these other places, and they actually Im- you know import the products you know to an individual. Connect America is an amazing platform and we're so happy to be working with them. What we're doing is we're uh, typically we charge $99 a year for our verified membership and through Connect Americas exclusively you can get $59 per year. Um, in addition we're also providing some content so there's some education materials and training to um, both Connect Americas and we're also you know have it available on our platform. And then, as an added, you know, incentive and uh, program, we're working on something called our Industry Hub Initiative, where we're taking companies that fall within certain industries because we've identified these as places where our buyers they can't find enough products, there aren't enough suppliers that exist currently, and they're not easy enough to get at. So, food and beverage, agriculture textiles, fashion, apparel, um, you know, whether you're, whether you're, uh, you're selling corn seeds or you have a tractor that harvests corn or whether you have, you know, bulk raw sweet corn or if you have corn, uh, you know, tortillas that are packaged, we can help you sell any of that and there's just tremendous demand. So we're taking companies that fit into these industries and we're linking them to our homepage through this initiative. And the great part is that, you know, I think our homepage is maybe the 59th most visited website on the internet. Um, to give you a sense of what that means, I think CNN is maybe 64. So once companies get in this, they're getting just great exposure and all the business is going to go right to them. There's always challenges when you do international trade and um, you know the hard barriers are the regulations, the le- the, uh, the the tariffs, the currency, all of that. Um, I, but these barriers, they're not actually the most difficult ones. It's the soft barriers like language and you know product localization that can really trip you up. And so what Alibaba is doing right now is we've launched a uh, we have a multi-language marketplace, so you can sell and search for products in 14 languages. I, Spanish, of course, is one of them. Portuguese, English. Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, French, Russian, uh, you know, the list goes on, Korean. Um, And I think, you know, one of the great parts about this is if you're interested in selling, you know, if buyers are searching for manzanas or apples or pingual, they're going to find, you know, your product. So um, right, right now, this is what we're focused on.